All right, guys, let's get right into it. How do you select a brokerage to work for? I've been in the business for 15 years, I've been an agent, a team lead, and now as a broker owner, I really thought about that to help you. You're probably the person that's either looking to just get into the business and you're wondering, Derek, what should I be looking for? What should I be asking for in a brokerage? Or maybe you're at your current brokerage and you're not really sure what's out there, what's available or what you should be doing. So here we go, quick and easy. Um, number one, all of these things are important, guys. They're all important, but this is what I thought of. The first thing that came to my mind was actually mentor. Is there some sort of mentorship? Are you gonna come in there? Like, for example, me as a new agent, when I got into the business, um, I floundered. I just, I didn't have a super close connection with anybody that was able to really, to take the time to show me. And of course, why would another agent take their time and spend all the time with me that I had? I had a million questions. I'm a brand new agent. I'm wondering everything. And I don't expect, and I'm not upset that anybody didn't. So check to see, does the brokerage have some sort of mentorship set up? You know what I mean? I know at our brokerage, we have a mentorship. So an experienced agent teams up with you and they're benefited by getting a percentage of your cut. Yes, you're gonna give up some of your cut to that mentor, but trust me, being 15 years into it, it's well worth it. So um, training that works. So what I mean is every company, if you ask a broker or an owner, do you have training? Of course, they're gonna say, yeah, we have training. Okay, what is the training that they have? Where is the training or information come from? So are they pulling information off a program that they bought from a door-to-door -door salesman? Is it something from a huge generic thing or is it something that has been proven to work in your area? That's, that's what I would ask. Is it legitimate training? Um, support, support you know, is a wide variety of things. And you know, you're gonna have to kind of get a feel like that and, and, and um, ask questions about support. Hey, if I have a question, who do I go to? When can I go to you? you know, who do I go to to this? What about um, disclosures? Do you guys have any sort of training or resources you can send to me to so I know how to write an offer, know how to take a listing, um, things like that. So that's support. Reputation. What is the reputation of the brokerage? If most people in the area hate the brokerage and most agents hurt, wor hate working with that brokerage, you probably don't want to align with that brokerage. So what is their reputation? The next thing that I have is the thing that most agents look to first, which is a huge error, and um, it's cut and future cut. And I say that as an heir because, I mean, number one, there's no bias. I'm not biased because our, our company has the most amazing cuts, but I just don't think that that's the most important thing. But it is important definitely to make sure that you're going to get a good cut. And if it's not initially as a new agent, you need to ask the owner, hey, what, what cut can I progress to? And if he says, oh, you, or she says, you can progress to X amount of cut. Okay, how many agents are in here on that cut? You know, I mean, is it one person that's the that's the owner's kid that's on that cut, or is it available to everybody based off of production? So, also when we talk about cuts, there's different types of brokerages. There's a traditional brokerage, right? So think of your big name brokerage. Um, pick the name, right? You're probably going to have a, nor, a a lower cut, right? Um, there's a flat fee brokerage where you pay per flat fee, and then there's a virtual brokerage, right? The first two are gonna have brook and mortar for you support for you and your clients to go to. A virtual one may offer more of a compensation plan, but you don't have that um, brick and mortar. So you can decide for you what's important. Um, what fees do they have? And what are the E and O fees? That's heirs and emission insurance. What is that fee? Are there monthly, quarterly, or annual fees to be a, a member of the brokerage? Um, do they charge you for things like copies um, and printing? Um, do they provide a place for you to work? And it doesn't have to be necessarily a private office, especially when you're a new agent, you probably um, aren't ready for that. But do they have a, a community area or sometimes it's called a bullpen area, depending on the setup, somewhere that you can go, somewhere that you can meet your clients with and your client comes in and says, okay, cool. You know what I mean? Or you're going to have to be meeting people at, at Starbucks or in your car or in the trunk of your car, whatever. You know what I mean? Um, so that's, that's something I would ask. What about help with marketing? Do they have any sort of mic marketing? Is their marketing cool, hip? Is it catching people's eyes or is it old, stale, frumpy marketing if they even provide it? Or is it some generic marketing that you know, comes out of a computer program that everybody else has? Um, culture. This is something that seasoned agents really know about but new agents don't know about. What's the culture, man? What is the vibe? When, you, when, you're, when you're there, what's the energy like, right? Are you feeling uplifted? Are you looking around and going, these are my type of people? You know, these are motivated, successful people. Are you looking around and going, man, I feel like um, everybody here is about to go ex extinct. The energy is very low and old. I mean, you know what I mean? I don't mean old by age. I mean energy in an old sense, or does it have that young, new vibe? And not by age, I'm talking about the energy level. 
Um, I'm 40, got some gray hairs here. A lot of people consider me old, but I think my energy is pretty good. Um, the next thing is your gut. What does your gut tell you? What's, and when you walk in there to, the, to their establishment, how do you feel? As you look around, how do they represent themselves? Is the place falling apart, right? Is the carpet 20 years old? I mean, just, just think about that. It's the little things that, that also are a reflection of the big things. Is it, is it nice? Is it taken care of? Is it maintained? You know, all the things like that. Um, talk to current agents. You got to talk to the current agents. If you know somebody, obviously you want to reach out to them. If you don't know somebody, don't be afraid to pull up the roster or search online and call, cold call them, right? You better get used to cold calling or calling people that you don't know if you're going to be an agent. Say, hey, I know you don't know me. I just got licensed. And uh, so I'm thinking about joining your office or interviewing with your broker. Tell me about it. So those are some things that I got. I think that's 10 quick ones for you. If you have any other uh, questions, feel free to reach out to me. But if I could go over, I would have had a list and sat down with a broker and I would have asked, you know, I would have asked more questions. Not, not that I'm saying that I regret the company I joined with because I definitely did not regret it. But I'm just saying those are important things to find out. So I hope this helps you. Have a great day.